YouTube on a lovely Sunday. Um, as of today, the 31st of July 2020, happy 40th birthday Harry Potter, I will be uploading a second video every Friday. <clears throat> so, what the reasoning behind this is, is for the past six years I've been uploading covers and the occasional other video. I want this channel to be more than just me singing. So, if you guys have any ideas for tags or for topics you want me to talk about, I want to talk about it. And I want you to tell me what those are because I'd love to hear from you and do what you want me to do. Um, <clears throat> I have pretty controversial opinions most of the time. But that's fine, we will work with that. I have no idea if this camera has me in frame, if it's like shooting my face or over my head. It probably isn't. Um, I mean, the over my head thing. But we will get this right, slowly but surely. I want to be a voice for the blindness community. I want to speak about mental health. I want to do fun videos like book tags, which there is one coming. Um, so let us jump straight into this with a granted music related video because what better way to kick this off than to talk about the thing that has kept this channel alive why did i get into music or how as it were so i approached my mother very randomly and said to her mom how did i get into music and she's like well i don't know you've just always loved it and i'm like what does that mean so it turns out that as a crying baby, I mean baby, my father would calm me down by turning up the radio. Up. A baby was calmed by noise. Actual noise. It is mind-blowing to me that I was calmed by noise. Anyway, so I've just always, music has always been my thing. When I was 18 months old, my mother enrolled me in a kinder music program for 18 month to three year old children. And apparently I was just really good at it. Like I just immediately picked it up and opened up and like stopped being as shy and reserved, I guess. Apparently the other thing I was really good at, which this is a tidbit, was languages. And I recently, um, when I started university, which is also something I'd love to talk about, I started doing German and Spanish and I just love them and understand them. So maybe this was like a premonition thing. I am a music and language person. Anyway, so I stayed there until I was three and then had to be taken out of it um, <clears throat> and between the ages of I want to say three and six I didn't really do anything musically I would listen to CDs and learn songs and stuff but other than that I didn't really like participate in any kind of musical program as it were um, and then when I was six I was taken and taught the recorder. I don't have the recorder anymore because my dog decided she wanted to learn to play, bit the mouthpiece, and I'm not putting my mouth there. I think I actually threw it out. If I haven't, I will find it and show you sometime. Um, and that was great. I sang that year in our school's, like, arts festival. Um, so that was great. And then the next year I was in grade two, I was seven, and I was randomly taken out of class and taught piano. And I <clears throat> played my pre-grade one music exam in grade three, my grade one in grade four, and my grade two in grade five. The plan was always that I was going to skip grade three and this is important so 
when I <clears throat> was in grade three, I was also um, asked if I wanted to join a tiny little kid choir, and I joined that. Um, and through all of this time, I'm singing in the in the arts festivals, and I'm playing piano. I stopped recorder at some point, and I cannot remember when that is. Um, but I then picked it up later, which I'll get to. Um, so this little choir thing I carried on with until the end of grade five. Um, and then after that, I switched schools. I went to a mainstream school. I was in a blind school before then, uh, or a school for the blind, as it were. The school itself cannot see or not see. Um, anyway, so when I joined mainstream, I was in the wonderful position to take up recorder again and I also joined the choir and that was amazing. Um, I also uh, sang that year in the school concert with two other people. There is footage of this somewhere which I will hide from the internet as long as I can. Um, it was awful. I listened to it the other day and I was like, I am so much better than I was when I was 11. You know, like, I really am way better now, I would hope, than when I was this 11 year old kid who thought she had it all. Anyway, um, I also did record it that year and I also have a recording of me playing recorder that year, which is actually better than my singing. Um, so, yeah, um, and then when I was seven, grade seven, I went back to the School for the Blind. Um, that in itself is a whole long story that is not meant for this video. And I took up piano again, and I just felt very pressured. Um, I had to do two grades of music theory in what basically amounted to five months. And though I did really, really well, I just didn't have the passion for music that I'd had previously, and I decided to leave it for a while. And um, honestly, I don't really regret leaving it. Um, sometimes I will listen to other people playing piano, and I will feel really, really jealous, um, because I wish I could have been that. But I also know that it just wasn't for me. I didn't have the discipline for piano. Um, so then in grade nine, I honestly went through a really tough time at school. And so in South Africa, in grade 10, you have subject choices. And my school psychologist said to me, I really think it is in your best interest to consider taking up music again next year. And I was like, I have no idea if they'll even take me. Um, I don't know if I'm on the right level for this. I really don't know what I'm doing. And they did. And I had an amazing music teacher who pushed me so hard to become a better musician in general and also a better singer like literally all of my goodness I think today comes from him and what he taught me and of course like my voice has grown and developed since I left school and since I stopped like having singing lessons quote unquote in 2018 I feel like I'm a lot better now than I was at the end of 2018 but that's a different story entirely I think that's just growth. But for three years, I had singing classes every single week, and we would work on technique and breathing and all of the stuff that ended up making me a better singer. I started in grade four music, which is where I would have carried on with piano. And like, I'm not going to lie, like starting with grade four singing, 
is not an easy thing to do. I had never worked on singing before then. I had no technique. I had nothing going for me. Nothing. But I was at a grade four level. I was ready to do a grade four exam um, because of the level of theory I had behind me. And so I just decided that I was going to take on that ch challenge and I did it. And in grade 12, when I sang my grade six exam, I got distinctions, which I guess for you Americans would be an A. Um, and that's not easy, like for anyone to do. Singing is really, really hard to get right. And I'm honestly, I'm not sure about other musical instruments. I'm assuming it is just as difficult. But for me, singing was always a lot harder than piano, and I practiced a lot less. I will be the first person to admit to you, I did not practice singing, ever, ever, ever. The only thing I ever worked on was my words, and I still managed to be as good as I needed to be, and as good as people expected me to be. And I feel like those three years of training have definitely set me up for being a better singer um, in future. They've definitely helped me make this channel what it is. And so I guess that is my music story. Um, I, this year, was supposed to be a part of an acapella group on campus and COVID messed everything up and acapella was my dream. I will always, always want to be part of an acapella group again. I loved it with my entire being and I will never ever take for granted the like week I had of acapella and I really really want that back so Jess if you're watching you're an amazing acapella coach I love you to the moon and back and the rest of you were amazing singers alongside me and I couldn't have asked for better people to make me feel welcome with the one thing that has kept me grounded for my entire life. Anyway, that's my music story. And I am so excited to be doing more of these kinds of videos and to be drawing you into my life and giving you more of me. And if you have any suggestions whatsoever, I would love to hear from you. So until then, I hope you will all stay safe and stay happy. I low-key feel like I was out of the camera for most of this video. That is 100% fine. We will figure this out together. Bye guys.